hello friends today i'm going to show you how to create a blocking alert okay in sql server today we got a requirement from a client that saying that he need to uh, configure blocking alert when the blocking occurs by by specific user only and that too more than 15 minutes okay and uh, if the blocking occurs not other users so then it blocking the, 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 this should not trigger the alert okay here we have one stored procedure okay uh, you, i'm going to show you where you can modify uh, as per your requirement okay i'll show you i will show you the logic here if the blocking occurs by testing 01 user then only it is going to trigger the alert if it is if any blocking occurs by any user starting with this name so then it is not going to trigger and how many minutes it is going to trigger with the 60 seconds okay for example if you need to configure 60 uh, for 15 minutes then you need to convert that into seconds and you need to paste that number here okay and if you want to write any notifications on the top of that email so here you can do that so if you have any instructions like if it is a select command then you can directly drop the uh, drop the root blocker if it is normal selector you need to send some, some to uh, drop an email with the required details with to the application if you have any notification like that that you have to inform to the team then you can mention here and final but not least okay and uh, you can mention your uh, Sorry, here, here you can th mention your company name as well at the end of the uh, this year okay and uh, I'm going to create a stored procedure now yeah, I have created in the master database okay now I need to configure a job so uh, this is the blocking job okay and uh, this is the receptionist and uh, if i need to trigger this alert to this respective email address okay if you have any more you can divide with this specific comma and you can mention more the email address and uh, this is my default text to for uh, database email configured on this sql server okay so directly I'm going to go I already configured and I'm deleting now and I'm going to show you new job blocking writer icon steps click new what happened Blocking name can be anything, no problem. Monitor, click OK, and I'm going to configure this right now. For this practical, I have given alert for only one minute. Okay, now I can configure uh, to this uh, for every one minute or every three minutes, like that, as per your requirement. So, right now, I'm not going to configure why because this is very one minute only. So I can manually schedule that. So if it is requirement uh, for every, if you have configured like more than 15 minutes, then you can mention for every, uh, this, shop, this job should run for every five minutes. Okay, click OK. So right now our requirement, uh, we have fulfilled all these requirements. Now we need to test. One thing is like, First, I will uh, I will configure two alerts, two blocking scenarios, which is one by the Lenovo and which is uh, done by the testing zero one. But alert should trigger only for testing zero one user only, not for the Lenovo. Okay. Create table Lenovo oh. ID init. 
okay and i am creating as well so it is already there no issues okay so now what i am doing here begin run begin run insert into values and execute now open a query select start from Lenovo so here this blocking uh, uh, blocking is ap happening by Lenovo user okay now I am connected all to the uh, SQL server using testing 01 user okay I click on that new query insert into Harsha values number one so now we need to start with begin and the second thing is not committed I'm opening new query select start from okay now root blocker here we have two root blockers okay our requirement is like to get an alert only for specific user not for every blocking okay so now what i am doing to do is i am should i am running the job manually oh it is not yet completed now. Let's wait to get the uh, complete the one uh, sixty seconds. Okay. Yeah, completed. Okay. Still, we have two blogging alerts. Okay. Now. If you see this here, we got only two alerts, okay? Not more than that. Why? Because we have configured with the requirement like saying that if we need alert only by, it is caused by testing 01 only, not more than that. If we have configured more than that, just you can remove that where command, okay? So uh, here you can, this is my system name. Here this is the notification that I want to give, notify to my users and here you can mention your company name. Instead of company name, you can mention your company name as well, okay. So this is how uh, our requirement went and uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you might like this video. If you have any doubts, uh, let's comment it in the video comment box and I will try to answer this. Thank you. Have a nice day.